gross time. Hey guys, today we're going to be doing the Smithsonian Crystal Room. Okay, today there's uh, three crystals, one yellow, one green, and blue. Yahoo! So we um, grow three beautiful crystal formations, perform three crystal experiments, learn about crystalline habitats and crystal structures. It includes um, 23 inches by 17 inches color poster that you can use. And it's the age is for 10 and up, but... Um, Hudson is eight, but he's got mom to help supervise. So here's our instructions. Yeah. Growing your crystal clusters. So you start by cutting the plastic lined trays. And then you add water to a measuring cup. And you boil it in a pan. Then you add the crystal growing chemical. And you add the water, mix it and stir. And then you pour it over the rocks that are sitting in the the prepared trays. From the bag, take a few seed crystals, which you saved, carefully place them at a different spot on the top of the rocks, which are at the bottom. Then you have to wait three to four days for the crystals to grow to their maximum capacity. And you can start viewing the crystals within um, two to three hours with this lovely magnifying glass that they have provided. So our contents include the um, crystal growing chemical, we have golden citrine and aquamarine blue, crystal growing chemical. We have the three trays with the three granite rocks that the crystals grow on. We have our heat resistant measuring cup and our handy dandy magnifying glass. And this is granite too. And Hudson has decided to wear the provided goggles and his um, little Bandana. His bandana. Because Are you a bandit? Are you going to steal the crystals after they grow? Yeah. Because if you inhale it, it's not good for you. Are you going to take precautionary action and prevent mm -hmm. inhalation or, or um, the chemicals from getting into your eyes? No, I want to I don't know. Are you living on the edge? Yeah! You want to live on the yeah. edge? No. Yeah. Okay, know. let's get started, everybody. Now we're gonna fill up the cup to 68 milliliters. Now we're gonna pour it into this pan. Whatever it's called. Then with help from mom, we're going to bring it to a boil. Fire! Ooh, Now we're going to put two-thirds of the package inside the boiling water. Now we're, we dumped it into the heat-resistant cup, and now we're stirring it with a popsicle stick. Wait five minutes till all of the contents have been dissolved, and then we're going to pour it over our rocks and our trays. Next, we're gonna pour the solution over the rock. How much? Just keep going. Cover the rock till it gets all... Underwater? That's good. Next, we're supposed to take the crystal seeds and, and place them in different parts of the rock so that the crystals will grow. Ooh. Next, we're going to grow our aquamarine blue crystal growing chemical. So we have to repeat the same process of pouring the water into the pan and bring it to a boil. And then we're gonna empty the contents of this into our heat resistant cup. And then we're gonna take the boiling water and pour it inside the mixing cup and let this cool. So let's get that started for the aquamarine blue. Pour our blue powder into the heat resistant cup. Okay, let's see if that's two thirds. Okay, let's just do a little bit more. Okay, and then we're gonna take our boiling water. 
and pour it into the heat resistant cup. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a nice cup. Mm. And then we stir it. Till it dissolves. Okay, and then we're just gonna let it sit for about five minutes. And then we're we'll gonna pour our aquamarine into the tray. Slowly pour it in Camden until it's almost all gone. Okay, now we're gonna put um, the little seeds on top of our rock our and our blue aquamarine crystal growing solution inside the tray. Next, we're gonna do our green solution by mixing the blue and the yellow. So we're just gonna jump ahead one step and just pour it in here. Okay, now we're gonna pour the boiling water into our green mixture that we're gonna create with the blue and the yellow. Mm -hmm. Crystal growing solution. Now let's stir it, it looks pretty green. Now we're going to stir our solution until it dissolves, which takes about five minutes. And then we'll pour it into our tray. So our green solution, all the crystals have dissolved and we're gonna pour it in our last tray. And now we just have to wait three or four days and we will see how much crystals we can grow. We'll check in each day and take a picture of them so you guys can see the process as they do grow. So we're gonna have yellow, blue, and green. I'm looking forward to seeing the blue one grow the most. How about you, Owen? Yeah, the blue one. I like blue. It's gonna look cool. This is um, day two of checking in on our crystals that we are growing. Um, the yellow seems to be coming along pretty well and the blue one's coming along, but the green one is not too much, but there's crystals down the bottom. We'll check back tomorrow to see if they got any taller. Day six update, the blue crystals are still growing really tall. The yellow is just kind of growing a medium size and the green is still not doing very well. After waiting a week for the water to evaporate, these are the cr crystals that form. <laughs> so on the rock, on the green one, it's not kind so of just loose. a big blob of crystals, like but down below, when you look down in there, there's more clear crystals. And the blue kind of spread to the other it came out, containers. It came out good. And mixed out. And then there's some clear blue ones down there and then darker blue on top of the this granite one, rock. This one kind of The yellow one, yeah, kind of, kind of like a blue one, but the blue one turned out the best. Yeah. So after taking the crystals out of their little growing plastic trays, this is what they look like underneath. This is pretty cool. Kind of looks like glass, yellow glass. Just so you get an idea of what the granite rock, the shape would actually look like, that's what it is. And then the water that evaporated kind of left these crystals. So far, I really think the blue came out really nice because you have these blue little crystal things sticking up right here. So the rock is, the granite rock is in there if you could see. What are those things called, like stalactites or stalagmites, the crystal formations? I'm not sure, but this kind of looks like a, in, the, in the center of a geode that you find and crack open. Mm -hmm. We could take our little handy dandy magnifying glass to see the crystals up close. There you can see the granite rock underneath those little clear crystals. So the rock, the crystals that kind of grow on top of the rocks tend to be um, opaque. And then the crystals down at the bottom are more translucent where you can see through them. So I kind of prefer the crystals down at the bottom where you can actually see through them and they actually like look like 
real quartz or crystals or like a precious stone. Thanks for watching our video, Go Go Bros. And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that no bell notification button to yeah. stay up to date for all of our latest videos. Bye!